President Biden addresses the nation on the new Omicron variant of COVID that is causing concern all across the world. Japan and Israel have banned all foreign visitors. The U.S. and European Union countries have banned travel from South Africa and nearby countries there. Even as the World Health Organization says border closings have limited effect on the spread of the virus. Cases of the new variant have surfaced in a growing number of nations. Newsy National Correspondent Maritza Giorgio joins us live now. And Maritza, how are governors and local health officials reacting to this new variant? Well, hey there, Lindsay. Many governors are asking their residents to stay vigilant as we wait for more information on this variant and how our vaccines stand up to it. Now, other state governors like California's Gavin Newsom basically saying they're monitoring this, but to stay calm. And New York Governor Kathy Hochul declared a state of emergency Friday. She sent out a tweet this morning saying Omicron is just across the bridge in Ontario. It's not a question of if it comes to New York, but when. So she called on everyone who has not yet been vaccinated to do so. And so have many other governors. On the medical side, I've yet to hear anyone say that this will not be coming to the U.S. In fact, many say it's probably already here and it's likely we will hear of a confirmed case of Omicron in the U.S. by the end of the week. Uh, so that doesn't mean it's time of panic, but just to be aware to monitor the situation, especially after this last week when we saw pandemic record travel. Yeah, and Marisa, President Biden was just asked after he is urging people to continue to mask up indoors. Every state and municipalities, they have very different rules when it comes to that. But Omicron certainly isn't discerning when it comes to what cities. It depends on uh, where it comes in. So is there concern that differing regulations are going to cause it to uh, spread further? Well, I think as as we've seen throughout the pandemic, that's certainly something that can happen. And, you know, we talked a lot in this last week over the Thanksgiving holiday about places with high vaccination rates and people from those places mixing with people from places with low vaccination rates. So I think certainly we're going to see uh, pop up in certain cities first, like we have through every other wave of this pandemic and every other variant.